So am I, still waiting for this world to stop hating. Can't find a good reason, can't find hope to believe in. Damn. Hey guys, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez. I'm coming at you today with an Earth 2 update video. Guys, if you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. I love you all. Everyone say hello to Dashi. Hello to Dashi, we love you. So, um, this video, I think it's going to be titled, titled why the Earth 2 developers are genius. And I'm going to make a comparison to Tesla because you see Tesla as the leader in electric vehicles. At least that's what I see him as. The leader in electric vehicles is going to be lead, leader in the car market in general. But uh, why? It's because they have guys like Tesla Daily Podcast, you know, uh, you know, Rob Maurer from him, or Stephen Mark Ryan from Solving the Money Problem, or Galley from Hyperchange, and, you know, me back in the day making a bunch of Tesla videos. And well, what does Earth 2 have? They have me, they have Aria Realty, they had a bunch of others, and they have Guidebook Gaming, and they have not only just people making content every single day, um, you know, Earth, Earth 2 Mastery was on vacation for a long time, Bowl Combo is kind of in sandbox right now, but a bunch of people making weekly videos on it, or at least me, daily videos, and, you know, Guidebook Gaming daily stream, but you also have music. You have, uh, you have Oliver Jones music making not only a fantastic song, but making it into an NFT as well. You know, kind of just driving that home. Um, so it, it's very hard to do that. And British Guy Dork Slayer has said, yeah, in, in the Telegram groups or Discord, you know, Earth 2 is the hottest. Um, and why they're genius, and I'm going to compare, compare it to Elon Musk again. Elon Musk unveiled the Cybertruck, knowing that it looks like PS1 graphics. Uh, but um, was it actually his thing for the future? He, he thinks it's a Cybertruck from the future? Maybe. Or maybe because it was because he knew it was memeable. And he knew that people would make memes of it. Free advertising. Because again, they don't pay for advertising. What does Earth 2 do? They pay so little for advertising because they have other people making content about it. And they, they just don't need to. Everything else can go to R&D or can go to whatever. You know, that's what their budget goes to. Um, and in that same breath... What did the Earth 2 devs do? Phase 2 is pretty much upon us. It's here with jewels and resources about to come out as well. How much of a difference would it make if they wouldn't uh, release jewels, you know, a few days ago? And let's say they release resources next week or in the next couple of weeks. Would it have made that much of a difference? They're already waiting for a couple months. Why not wait a couple more weeks just to get, um, just to get the resources and then go and get the jewels after that it would kind of make sense but here's the genius of it you bring out the jewels first because uh, oh why well you can't really do anything with them right now you know they're just kind of there giving us a little bit of a taste but earth 2 devs know that hey let's release this the haters will make so much more videos on this saying like oh yeah they're releasing something that has no value because they don't have resources yet and they a lot of content is being created, a lot of people are being exposed, or my subscribers have gone through the heckin' roof because Kira TV and Upper Echelon Gaming have uh, made videos about me and uh, get a lot more comments, which is great. Uh, the comments are a little, a little nasty, I'm not going to lie, but outside of that, again, it's all good for the YouTube algorithm. So, either way, I get a lot of subscribers from that, I get a lot of, um, you know, more comments from that, and... The Earth 2 devs are genius because they knew that when, while releasing that, me, Guidebook Gaming, everyone else would talk about it, and then what else happens? Okay, so you have the haters that come in and make the videos saying, this is absolutely useless, this is proof that this is more of a scam. And uh, again, like just, just look at you know the live streams of the devs, you know how active they are on Discord and how hard they work. You know, bet on the jockey or bet on the horse. I'm, I'm, I'm going to bet on both in this case, you know, for Earth 2, but uh, I'm very, very good at telling when people are lying, when they're BSing us, or when they're BSing me. Again, having doing most of this over the phone in my high-risk lending business, I was extraordinarily good at people who needed money just for, you know, actual day-to-day uh, -day business operations, working capital, you know, to float some receivables, or if they were just polishing the knobs on the Titanic, getting as much money as they can before they declare bankruptcy. Um, like I said, my default rate was extraordinarily low, at least before COVID. And even after COVID, it's still pretty well. Um, but that being said, or I, I look at the Earth 2 devs. I watch them. They're, they're, they're genuine. They're, they're good people. Um, and, and the fact that they are sticking with this, again, full speed ahead 
while we all again they're they're not people that have been in legal trouble in the past i don't think and even still even if they were in legal trouble it would depend the type of legal trouble they were in like did they set off fireworks and they weren't supposed to you know like that type of legal trouble um or were they you know caught like you know in an, an embezzlement charge they were not caught in an embezzlement charge and and again you have their you know they have that partner that owns that construction company that's a silent partner that owns half of earth too basically just funding this he would not fund something that is uh, even close to a scam that, that guy that guy is like a, a pretty much a billionaire uh, or, or or at least multi-millionaire you're not going to do you're not going to fund something that even has a hint of being a scam remember batman said even if Superman is 1% chance of even of being evil. We have to take that as an absolute certainty. I'd take the exact same thing. And yeah, there's inherent risk in it, but the biggest risk is that the game might not be what it is. Uh, but also, I, I see the genius in the fact that they say, yeah, they want a Ready Player One type of society. And they have said it's going to take years to get there. But what do a bunch of people see? A bunch of the haters that being really short-sighted saying like, okay, well, uh, we see these types of claims that say they want to be ready to play one technology doesn't exist yet or it's impossible to do the rendering is is, is insane um but they're not saying they're going to come out with it tomorrow or or even even last year when they came out with it they didn't say it would be this year in 2021 they said it would take a couple years for that end of phase three where this constantly updates and that's going to be the end result uh i mean we know now what we're getting those this type i guess would be considered like a world of warcraft mix it like fire emblem maybe type of deal um type of game, or maybe Settlers of Catan as well, because those resources, they look very similar to the Settlers of Catan type thing. And we only have about eight resources right now, and that's the genius as well. You you go in and you only give us a little bit of a taste. And what happens when you give us a little bit of a taste? You have us that most of us that are jonesing for more, and then other people are like, oh yeah, Minecraft had more uh, resources than this. Like, yeah, it's clearly a scam, it's a BS game. It's like, okay, but this is just still, we're in the beta phase. We're in phase two. More resources are going to come. They've even mentioned before, if you have a tile that is not producing anything, it's going to produce something much, much better in the future. Um, so the devs, I think, are very, very good at giving us what we want, giving us little tastes here and there, you know, keeping us going, and giving the haters something to, to hate on. And uh, again, more content is being created about it. So I, I think it's very, very brilliant on their part. Um, I have, I'm quite impressed by that. Um, and that being said, just like I said, I, I put in not, not a terrible amount, maybe about 13 grand, but there are other people. Uh, again, especially South Koreans are extraordinarily intelligent. South Koreans average IQ, I believe is like 110. The average American IQ is a bit lower than that. Um, so if you're saying like people that are get buying into this are stupid and wrong, well, the odds are that people that are investing in this are a lot smarter than we are, uh, or a lot smarter than you are, because I am investing in this. But again, South Koreans, pretty high IQ, and a lot of people that are saying this is a scam, I don't know their IQs, but um, I could make the assessment, or you could make the argument, this suggests or confirms that the people that think this is a scam can't wrap it around their heads that, oh, this is actually something that you know could be really cool. Uh, or some people that maybe they said it was a scam at first and they looked into it and they're like, well, I don't want to switch camps now. I'll look like a hypocrite. I'll look like... It doesn't matter. Listen, when, when they're ready, come back in. We'll love you all. Um, everyone, please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Everyone say bye-bye to Deshi. Bye-bye, Deshi. I love you guys. Goodbye. Meow, 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 meow.